In other news this afternoon, an investigation is underway after a suspected drunk driver drove his car through a home in Ann Arbor. This happened just after midnight in the area of Carhartt and Anderson Avenue. Three people were inside of the home, but thankfully they weren't hurt. The 25 year old driver was taken to the hospital with minor injuries and police do believe that alcohol was a factor in this crash, but they're waiting on blood tests to confirm. Southbound I-275 is back open this afternoon in Farmington Hills after a deadly crash earlier this morning. It happened around 4 a.m. on the freeway in between M5 and 8 Mile. State police said that a man was hit by another car, a Chrysler 300, and that car flipped over, landing on its roof. The driver of that car is in stable condition. On Detroit's east side now, a body is discovered in a house fire. This happened close to 1 this morning on Minnesota, right near John R. in Nevada. And right now, police believe the victim was between 40 and 50 years old. New at noon. A former Rochester High School teacher charged with having sex with students learned her fate today. In 2018, Catherine Hodling was accused of having sex with two students and giving them Xanax. Well, she pleaded no contest to six counts of criminal sexual conduct and one count of delivering drugs. And in court, she expressed remorse for her actions. I have learned so much about myself and other people through this tough process. I've learned to take full responsibility for my controllable actions and seek help for those things I cannot control. Hodling is going to spend four to 15 years in prison.